we're in a new chapter again. This is chapter 8, and it's all about two-digit addition and subtraction. We're going to add and subtract within 20, lesson 8.1. We can use strategies to help us add and subtract. These are strategies we have learned so far. We have a lot of them. We have related facts, which are fact families, and we can use addition or subtraction. We can draw a picture, and that can be for addition or subtraction. We can use counters and use doubles. Those are also for addition or subtraction. We can use doubles plus one for addition and doubles minus one for subtraction. We can count on or count back. We can make a 10 to add. We can break apart to subtract. We could use a 10 frame or write a number sentence. And sometimes one way is easier than another. Use the strategy that you think will help you the most. So you can go back through the grade one math playlist and find all these strategies if you haven't seen them. Think of a strategy we can use to add or subtract. What is 13 minus 5? We can use a related fact. We can say 5 plus a number is equal to 13. Do you know your math facts? Do you remember 5 plus what number equals 13? If you don't, we can count on, starting with 5, and go up to 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 5, 11, 12, 13, that's 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. And we can think of 13 minus 5. We can start at 13 and count back 5. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We ended up at the number 8. What is 8 plus 9? Do you remember your math facts? We can make a 10 by breaking the 8 into a 7 and a 1. If we break this 8 into a 7 and a 1, we can give that 1 to the 9 to make a 10. Then we can add 7 plus 10. That's a lot easier. 7 plus 10 is 17. That means 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. Add or subtract. We've got 6 plus 7. We could use doubles plus 1. We can do 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. And the 1 more for the 7. That's 13. 5 plus 6, we could use doubles plus 1 again. We can do 5 plus 5 and add 1 more because 6 is 1 more than 5. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 1 more is 11. 11 minus 4, we can start at the 11 and count back 4. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. 9 plus 2, we can count on the 2. 9, 10, 11. 15 minus 6, we can start at the 15 and count back 6. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 7 minus 1, we can count back 1, 7, 6. 12 minus 3, we can count back 3. And remember, in one of the videos I taught you that when you're counting 3, either adding or subtracting, there's 3 tips here. So we can use the 3 tips of the 3. So we can say to count back 12, 11, 10, 9. There's three tips, so we use it instead of our fingers. Four plus five, we can use five plus five, that is ten, minus one for the four, because it's one less than five. Five plus five is ten, minus one is nine. That's doubles minus one. 
6 plus 3, we can count on 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 8 minus 4, we can think of a related fact. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, so 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 10 minus 7, we can start at the 7 and count on to 10. 7, 8, 9, 10, 3. 3. We started with the 7 and counted up to the 10, and it was 3. 3 plus 5, we start with the larger add end, and we can count on 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 6 7 8 We can add or subtract when they're stacked 15 minus 7 We can either start at the 15 and count back 7 or we can start at the 7 and count up to the 15 Let's start at the 7 and count up to the 15 7 8 9 10 11 12 That's 5 we're at 12 13, 14, 15. So that's 8. If I was using both of my hands, you would have seen 8 fingers. I'm stuck holding the camera though, aren't I? Now we have 4 plus 10. We start with the larger add-in, 10, and we can count on 4. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 5 plus 5, that's doubles. Do you remember 5 plus 5? That's 10. 13 minus 8, we can start with 13 and count back to 8. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. It's 5. 9 minus 7. We can start at the 7 and count up to 9. 7, 8, 9. We needed 2. 7 plus 2. We can use a related fact. 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. So 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 14 minus 6, we can start at the 14 and count back 6, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 12 plus 3, we can start at the larger add in 12 and count on 3, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 plus 10. We have one, two tens. Do you remember what two tens are? We can add the numbers in the ones place. Zero plus zero is zero. We can add the numbers in the tens place. One plus one is two. Two tens are 20. We have two tens and zero ones. You should really try to memorize your addition and subtraction facts to 20. You want to know them very quickly. If you know 1 plus 1 is 2, that's how quickly you want to be able to answer addition and subtraction facts like these. You want to know them as fast as you know 1 plus 1 is 2. Lisa thinks of an addition fact the sum is 14, one addend is 9. What fact is Lisa thinking of? So we think. It tells us the sum is 14. It must be an addition sentence. Sum is the answer in an addition sentence, isn't it? It also says one addend is 9. One addend is 9. It must be an addition sentence because an addend is a number in an 
addition sentence. We have 9 as the add end plus an unknown number is equal to 14. The sum is 14. We can count on to 14. Starting at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5. We can also use a related fact. We can think 14 minus 9 is equal to some number. We could start at 14 and count back to 9. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 5. We got the same answer. We know it's right. We can check addition with subtraction, and we can check subtraction with addition because they make related facts. There are eight turtles on a log, and more turtles climb onto the log. Now there are 16 turtles on the log. So here we have a log, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turtles are on there. But more turtles climbed on so that there were 16 on the log. So how many more turtles climbed on the log? How many more would we need so there would be 16? We can think there's eight on the log now, some more climbed on an unknown amount, and it equals 16. Now some of you might already know the answer if you know your doubles facts. We could use a 10 frame. There's eight turtles on the log, and we can use counters to add up to 16. We have eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can find how many counters we had to add. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We needed 8 counters to come up with 16. That means 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. So how many more turtles climbed on the log? 8. Eight more turtles. Fill in the blanks. Write a number sentence to solve. That means we can put any numbers into this problem as long as we make it true and our number sentence is true. So we could pick any number. Lisa sees blank frogs. Some frogs jump away. Now there are blank frogs. How many frogs jump away? So we can just write any number sentence we want. We can say that she sees 10 frogs. Some jump away. And now there are seven frogs. How many frogs jumped away? We could put any number here and any smaller subtrahend number here to make this a subtraction sentence. They're jumping away, so we know it's subtraction. And we know an equal sign will go here. So now we have 10 frogs. Some jumped away. Now there are seven. So we need to find the frogs that jumped away. We can use a related addition sentence. 7 plus some number is equal to 10. We can start at 7 and count on to 10. 7, 8, 9, 10, 3. We could also start at 10 and count back until we get to 7. 10, 9, 8, 7, 3. How many frogs jumped away? Three. And you can use your own numbers and come up with your own subtraction sentence and related fact. Our next lesson is add tens. That's lesson 8.2. We're going to be adding tens like we did here. So remember, you can make your own flashcards or you can buy some flashcards and practice your addition and subtraction facts. It'll really help you, and you'll get very fast at math if you have them memorized. I hope 
You're doing well. Keep trying. I think you're doing a good job, and I'll see you next time. Bye.